Hello, my name is William Shaker, and this is my dog Rambo. Wait a minute, where's Rambo? Oh yeah, there he is, he's over there. By now, over 450,000 of you guys have watched my previous episode about why I quit van life. In that video, I asked the audience if they're interested in seeing an apartment tour. And I would say about 75% of you have commented that you would like to see one. And that's a lot of people. So here I am doing an apartment tour for you guys. But before we actually do that, I wanna close up the last chapter of van life and start the new chapter of us starting in this apartment, which I call season two. So to sum things up or bring it to a close, Rambo and I have been living inside of our small little compact van for eight months. In the last video, there were a lot of comments from people who were saying that I shouldn't have quit van life, I should still keep the van, I quit because I didn't have a bathroom or a shower, but quite honestly, that's far from the truth. The reason why we quit van life is not because of a lack of shower or a lack of a bathroom. It was because the goal was to do it for an entire 12 months, but we did it for eight months and we felt like it was enough. And I wanted to concentrate 100% on my business and get back to normal life. That was the entire plan. But anyway, we bought the van to travel in it for an entire year. It was a choice to live on the road and travel at the same time. It wasn't something that we had to do. Quite honestly, these past eight months living inside of a van have been the greatest experiment of my entire life. I've never done anything like this. I never once thought that I would live inside of a van and be somewhat homeless, I guess you can say. But it's made me very humble living inside my new apartment. Everything is really appreciated now. Things you take for granted are no longer taken for granted. Since living inside the van, everything inside this apartment is now a great luxury. All in all, I think Rambo and I had the time of our lives and we have absolutely zero regrets about doing it. If I had the choice, Rambo and I would do this in a heartbeat once again and we would do it inside that small little van with or without a bathroom. So anyway, like all things, van life has come to an end. However, this video starts the beginning of season number two with new things that I plan to create for the channel beginning with this video. So now let's talk a little bit about this apartment. My apartment is a little shy of 500 square feet, but it has all the amenities that I need. Believe me when I tell you this, after eight months of living in a tiny little van, any apartment or space that you live in after that is gonna feel absolutely humongous. As you can see behind me, the kitchen is nice and big. It has a lot of counter space and a lot of closet space. The bathroom also is nice and big. It has a lot of closet space, more than I can ever use. A lot of them is, a lot of the closet space is actually pretty empty at the moment, and I have no future plans to fill them up with anything. But the kitchen, I would say, and the living room is probably my favorite spaces because this is where we spend most of our time. During the day, I spend a lot of my time in this exact location. The living space is pretty big for me because it has my bed on one side, it has the couch on the other side, and I have my ottoman and my TV facing the couch. And so Rambo and I are pretty comfortable in this little space. He has a lot of places to lounge in. When it's really warm in here, which really it isn't because we're in San Diego, sometimes he sleeps on the hardwood floor because it's a little bit cooler. And, and then other times he sleeps in his little carpet or in his bed or sometimes on the bigger carpet. Now let's talk a little bit about the accessories and the things that I bought for this apartment that make it pretty livable for Rambo and I. As I mentioned in my last video, I spent anywhere between five to seven thousand dollars on furnishings. The sofa I bought from a company called More Furniture and it is super comfortable, very plush. Um, I actually purchased the couch from Amazon and it was absolute crap. So I sent it back and then I got this couch from More Furniture because it's always better to sit on something and feel it out before you order something online. So that's exactly what I did. To be honest with you, that really didn't break the bank because that couch, I bought it on July 4th and there was a July 4th sale. So I saved $100. So that entire couch cost me about $550 brand new, which is, to me, it's an absolute bargain. If you were to buy used, you're looking at anywhere between three to $400. Plus you would have to haul it yourself and that's a lot of work. So I just decided to buy brand new. As for the bed, the bed is from a company called Purple. This is my second Purple bed. It is absolutely amazing. It's like sleeping on a bed of clouds. I'm not even joking you. Going from the van directly to a bed, 
is absolutely amazing. Now the bed inside of the Cascade camper was fully broken in probably by the third or fourth month. So I was sleeping very comfortable. But a bed is a bed and there's no substitute. And so this purple mattress is absolutely incredible. The mattress cost me about $1,000 and change. And then the frame for the bed I got from Amazon. I think that was about a hundred and something. And the headboard for the frame was an additional hundred dollars. Right behind me in the kitchen, I have a coffee maker, air fryer, and I have a toaster oven. And just as a reminder, everything that I bought in this apartment is brand new. And they were anywhere between $75 to $150. The air fryer and the toaster oven are mainly what I use to cook everything inside this apartment. So if you guys are interested in some cooking episodes, leave a comment down below. So I'll see about quote unquote, cook something up for you guys. Cooking is one of my favorite things and I cook probably, I would say 85% of whatever I eat it's in this apartment, starting from breakfast all the way to dinner. And I think I'm kinda, sorta kinda a good cook, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. As for pots and pans, accessories, things of that nature, you know, spoons, forks, utensils, stuff like that, I, I went to Ikea for the rest of that stuff. And last but not least, my TV is from Best Buy. I bought that for $369, 50 inch screen display, fantastic deal. Great picture quality and I mean, it's, it's it works perfect, I love it. As for the TV stand, I got that from Target and I believe that was somewhere around $75 to $100, I kind of forgot. Um, I think that was a fantastic deal as well. I actually went to Target looking for something else and then I saw that and I was like, oh, that's a fantastic deal, so I'm gonna buy it. Now, let's talk a little bit about Rambo's bedding area because Rambo doesn't spend a lot of time in bed because we're always outside, but when he does spend a lot of time in his bed, he is super comfortable. I bought his bed from Amazon and I'll put a link down in the description below for some of the items that I talk about in this video. But Rambo's bed is super comfortable. It's the second time I'm buying it. In my previous apartment, I had it as well, but I threw it away because I just wanted to start brand new, as I mentioned. Rambo's bed is a memory foam filled mattress and the exterior is washable and that's what I love. But on top of it, I usually put another towel just so it's dual layer and I can just take out the towel, put it in the washer and replace it with something else. And then every two to three weeks, I wash everything together. But underneath it, I got him a small little carpet. When he gets too tired of sleeping in his bed, he'll sleep in the small little carpet area. And then other times, he'll sleep in the large carpet that I have in front of the couch. And then when it gets a little warm and we're coming from outside and it's been really hot, he sleeps on the hardwood floor because it's a little bit cooler and I don't blame him for that. These days, I spend a lot of time in my apartment. I love my little space. It has everything that I need from my kitchen to the bathroom to the living space. And I have my laptop, which I do a lot of work in. I listen to music here. Rambo and I do go out a lot. We still do a lot of the things that we did in van life, except the only thing that's really changed is that I have this living space now. But as far as going out and having fun and things like that, that hasn't really changed. I like to spend a lot of time in my apartment because I get a lot of my work done here. During the day, I spend a lot of time in this section here. I usually sit on this seat here and I do my work. But if you guys remember from my last episode, I run an Amazon FBA business, that's how I work. Quite frankly, I can work from anywhere where I have internet access, that's why I can do van life and that's why I can travel and that's why I have the lifestyle that I do. So as long as I have internet, I can pretty much work anywhere. So this means sometimes I work from the nearest coffee shop, but because I've done van life for eight months, these days I feel more like being a homebody than anything else. And I think that's gonna get tiring as well as time goes on. And then I'll probably spend more time maybe going to the beach and working in my car or perhaps going to a coffee shop more often. But I'll see as time comes, I'll see how, how this pans out. But overall, Rambo and I love this little apartment. We're pretty comfortable. It's spacious for my needs. It has all the amenities one could expect. And considering today's rental market in San Diego and all around the United States with inflation looming, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money to rent a much bigger space because quite frankly, I really didn't feel it necessary. And now some of you have asked for a video specifically about Rambo. So if you guys are interested in a future episode called A Day in the Life of Rambo, leave a comment below, request it, and I will definitely create a video for you guys. And of course, if you guys want to see some cool cooking episodes, I'll do that for you guys as well. 
Anyway, leave a comment below, give this video a like, and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks. Take care. Ciao for now.